Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Brandon, from Audio Addiction. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for watching. Uh, going to be doing a reaction video to the new IC Stars track, Anomaly. Uh, I have been a big fan of IC Stars for quite a bit. Um, followed their first album, 3D, um, End of the World Party, uh, Digital Renegade, um, Treehouse. I've kind of checked them out throughout the ages, um, and I know they disappeared for quite a long time, so it's good to have them back making music again, and I wanted to delve into their newest song. So without further ado, let's uh, hop in, into Anomaly. more of a rock feel to it. Ooh. What a note. This part feels like very Bringy the Horizon-esque. Like those synths in the back, very like ethereal. Little piano action, all right. Down. Guys, that was IC Star's newest track, Anomaly. Um, I don't know if it's a part of an album or if this is just like, you know, obviously the beginning of what they have coming next. But I will say for the song itself, it was pretty solid. Uh, I don't think there was anything particularly crazy about the song. Um, to be fair, this is the first song that they've released in quite a many years. So, you know, I don't... You know, obviously, I don't expect them to keep the same sounds that they used to have when they originally started the band. So um, I just feel like that's not something that I feel like most bands do when they come back. They always kind of change up their sound just a little bit and then 
you know, maybe they might revert back to their older stuff or, you know, get into the heavier style of music. Um, I will say this is probably a little bit more akin to their previous album, Treehouse, and that's even kind of giving it a stretch. I would say this is a little bit more rock friendly. I could definitely see this being on like a Sirius XM or something like that and being really popular. It does have some real kind of like pop elements to it but also again p pulling a lot from like alternative and kind of rock music as well so i don't really feel like it's out of the realm of what they do but i would say it's probably the softest song that they've released in quite a bit um you know even granted that there was a really cool breakdown i liked it um but you can definitely hear there's a lot of similarities between them and bring me the horizon now um not that I felt like prior to that there was as much. I mean, you know, there's definitely some crossover, um, but I felt like uh, with Icy Stars, they were a little bit more electronic focused. They had a lot more like EDM influence, and I felt like with Bring Me the Horizon at the current time when they were both, uh, you know, bands collectively in a parallel, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't feel like they kind of crossed over, and this almost feels like they're trying to get more into that kind of arena rock a little bit of that feeling especially with like that chanting part i felt that was very like bring me the horizon-esque um it reminded me of like that's the spirit you know um and it just kind of gave me that same sort of vibe which i mean isn't a bad thing you know i've already attested that i love whatever bring me the horizon puts out um i will be cutting up my reaction to loss as well so don't be on the lookout for that as well too but um but yeah, I can find a lot of similarities between that. Uh, it was very good to hear Devin's voice again. I've always felt like he's had a very unique, clean vocal style. Um, so it was really nice to hear him back on a track and doing that as well. Can't, you know, can't love anything less than that. So definitely really neat to hear that. And as the band as a whole, it felt like a pretty safe single, I would argue, out of the singles that I imagine that they're either working on or that they have coming out. Um, this one just felt a little bit more um, akin to just like, again, a serious XM song. Uh, something that you could hear on their radio station and be like, oh, this is a good song. Like, I think it's a solidly written track, uh, but I don't really particularly think there's anything to stand out. I like the like subtle hints to synth uh, sounds. Like, there was a really cool piano part in that second verse. There was some really like nice ethereal synths, and I just hope that they kind of expand upon that because I, oh, I genuinely feel like that was why they had such a popularity was their way of kind of taking edm music and then kind of forcing it in this like alternative like alt rock alt metal kind of like funnel and they just created something really unique and this this feels like to me still i i would say somewhat like icy stars but maybe like diet icy stars um and i i would really hope that they kind of really pull more of that influence from electronic music because um that is what i'm really looking for from them and i obviously think that this is just the first single so i don't want to kind of count my chickens before they hatch they might have songs that are a little bit more heavier than that but considering that they've been on hiatus for such a long time maybe they wanted to release this song as like kind of a a teaser or a taste of what's to come so I'm going to be giving my eyes peeled and hopefully I'll enjoy some of the other stuff that they have released right now. But I, I thought this was a pretty solid straight, straight and narrow sort of track. It wasn't anything too crazy to write home about, but I'd also say in the same vein, it was just kind of like what you would expect them to kind of write now, just given the st type of styling. So I really hope they kind of jump out of their comfort zone have some really unique tracks that they're excited to push out and um i hope that it kind of expands people's thought processes and i'd also hope that you guys go check out some of their previous albums because some of that stuff's great you know i went back and listened to 3d pretty recently i also went back and listened to digital renegade new demons recently both fantastic all three of those records are album end of the world party is great too um so going back and kind of listening to them again and really getting a, a flavor for what they do um you know i it kind of brought my resurgence back for why i loved electronic core in the first place so i hope they kind of pull for more of that influence and i'm curious what you guys think of anomaly so 
Let me know down in the comments what you think about the new track. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? I would love to know your full thoughts about it down in the comments section. Um, please be cool. I know everybody. I not. I know not everybody is going to enjoy this song, and that's. I feel like that's kind of borderline the point of why they probably release this track. So you know, take it with a grain of salt. Maybe there might be a song later on in their catalog that you're gonna like. And it might harken back to some of the stuff that they've previously done, but love to know your thoughts down below. I'm just going to tack this on to the other video I just finished out on. I realized that they released two songs. This is the other song that they released. I thought they only had released Anomaly, so I I'm excited to get into this one. I hope that my thoughts about Anomaly don't, you know, interrupt my ideology of Drift. So we're going to get into this song. I am very excited to get into this one as well. So I, I didn't know they released two singles, so I'm kind of flustered right now, but we are going to get into this one. So let's 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 rock. Ooh. This is so sick. What tuning is this in? Oh, this is weird, but sick. I like this like snare, like punchy snare drum. I like the vocoder voice. All right. Ooh, the sub bass. All right. Like that break beat kind of drumming. All right, all right, all right. This is so weird. <laughs> That one crushes. All right, guys, that was the second track from IC Stars, Drift. This one was, you know, it gave me that kind of like new metal vibe a little bit in in a way. Um, this one was entirely different than Anomaly. I think they really just went all out with this one. It's a little bit odd, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb and just say it's a little it's a little weird it's a little weird but i think it works because it's just so different from what they do um and so this one felt a little bit i would say this one felt a little bit more akin to old ic stars obviously not 100 percent because it is completely different sound wise but like i just feel like overall sound and kind of the type of music that they write previously this was about as close as i could think to get anomaly feels like new territory so it was cool that they had this 
dichotomy of different singles one that's just a little bit more out there being this track drift and then obviously a song that's a little bit more safer a little bit more in the pocket uh, and that is anomaly um this was kind of all the things that i was looking for in anomaly that i didn't get and i think that there was stuff in drift that i was looking for that i got an anomaly so i think they 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 have this nice synergy to it that i like getting back to drift as a whole that guitar work is nuts i know it's like probably nothing too crazy but the down tunedness of the guitars chef's kiss you know i love a good down tuned guitar and this felt very much in that lane um as well as that the bass on this track was awesome not only from like the regular bass but also like sub bass there was a lot of cool like electronic elements in this song that i feel like because they have you know a slight background in electronic music i think they were able to pull from that sort of like deep house like edm kind of vibe of this this song i like the kind of like I want to say they're breakbeat drums, but I'm not 100% sure, but I really love that kind of like punchy, really like tappy kind of snare sound. It just really crushes in the song. Singing it sounded great. Um, as well as that, uh, I liked that, I liked that Devin did his best, like almost like rap kind of new metal thing going on. I would have liked it for being, I would have liked it if there was screaming because i know for a fact he can scream so i don't know if whether or not he was just not feeling it or whatever but i think that song i think i think if you were to scream those like lyrics especially in the beginning of the song i think this song would have crushed i i don't know i would have loved a little bit of just like harshness to his voice ah oh, that would have been great so i i think that was kind of a missed opportunity um and it would have just i think it would have just set that like that just like open end riff off so really kind of a little bit surprised they didn't go with the screaming on that um this one i think is a little bit uh, not even a little bit i think this song is definitely more electronic focused there's more of an intention in detail in regards to like the synth lines and stuff like that and they're less subtle they, i just think they're more in your face and this is kind of what the style of music that i i feel like icy stars is known for where it's just kind of like the electronics are just as equally as important as like the guitar work and vice versa and like the drums work and the bass work and they all work in that harmony um this feels like the song that i was kind of hoping for with anomaly as i mentioned earlier it has that punch it has that aggression and i'd almost imagine that's why they match these two songs up um not that I, I would hope that they have more songs than this but i mean hey i'll take i'll take what i can get because it's been a little bit since icy stars has come back around um but yeah i would i would love to hear a little bit more i think like kind of a little bit more aggression a little bit more heavierness um but i'd also love for them to kind of do that weird shit that they were doing with like the 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 vocals like the synth was really insane like the way that they vocodered out like the vo devin's voice in that song i thought was really cool and the way that they layered it out and almost had that like image and heap kind of vibe to it which is really cool uh as well as that i like that they pitch shift his voice down i thought that was really wild because i'm so used to hearing his voice in this like higher register um so it was very interesting to hear his voice in like kind of a more mid-range tone so that was a little bit of a shock but i think it worked out very well um but yeah overall i think this one was a better of the two i would argue especially if you are more in the heavier style of music this one i think fits more of everyone's lane though i i would suggest if you are getting into ic stars um anomaly is a good starting point as well i think it has a good like rock energy to it um it definitely has some of Devin's more traditional clean singing that you hear from him from previous albums. So I would probably say if you are looking for more of a well-rounded kind of song that I See Stars would do, I'd say Anomaly is a good starting point. If you are an OG and you're about the heavier stuff, then I think Drift is going to be a better song for you. Um, but hey, 
I like both of them. I think they're both great. If I really had to pick, I think I enjoy. I think I enjoy Drift more. Um, but I, th- I do think both songs have their own merit, um, and that's kind of what I explained earlier. So, like this song a lot. But uh, I'm curious to see how far reaching they go, um, because these two songs couldn't be. F- I, I would argue couldn't be further off from the scale. So, um, very curious to see where their musical styling and what they're going to be planning on doing next because it's the future seems unclear but i'm very curious to just buckle my seatbelt in and to get more invested in what ic stars is doing but let me know down in the comment section below what you think about drift do you agree with me do you disagree would love to know your thoughts down there uh if you enjoyed this reaction review would love to know um what past if you, if you were a new fan of IC stars what album you would rec- recommend to new listeners to listen to first i think for me personally i think new demons is probably the best starting point for IC stars i think maybe a close second would be digital renegade i think that's also a great choice as well but i think new demons just has like that edm styling but like metal core as well is that like perfect je ne sais quoi of electronic course so i think those would be my suggestions but would love to know yours and if you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment subscribe it goes a long way looking to create an awesome community of people that love music as much as i do so if you could sub up that would be amazing and i'd hope to catch you in future videos because if you like this one there's probably a pretty good chance you're gonna like some of the other stuff on here so thank you for watching this is a double up single video so i hope you watch it it's a little bit of a longer one but very fun to do so hope you guys see you in the next video bye